Ah, the Benchmade Anthem. Costs almost as much as a, uh, as a Sebenza, believe it or not. Let's find out today why that is. Hey, how you doing? I'm Jay, and first, go ahead, click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. And this is the, the Benchmade Anthem 781, and we'll get into what I like about this, what I don't, and then some of the potential deal breakers. But right now, you should be looking at some specs. Yep, these are measurements that I had taken myself, but don't worry, I'll also have them listed down in the description below, just in case you wanna follow along through the review. Let's take care of those size comparisons. First one we'll start with is the Spyderco PM2. And how about a Cold Steel and the Code 4. Now a Kershaw and the Skyline. Then we'll wrap up this section with a Benchmade and the 940. So for those of you that are really kind of running short on time, I, I want to go ahead and start with this. The Anthem has just fantastic action, great steel, with a very, very uh, clever locking mechanism. But if you want to see why that is, you got to stick around and watch the rest of the video. And before I forget, this knife is actually on loan to me by my buddy Tom over at Blade Centered. Yes, I will include a link to his channel down below in the description. Now, there's a couple things that had actually that caught that caught my eye uh, when I first saw the Anthem. Well, the first being the integral design, meaning that so it's just one piece handle. There's no there's no like separating of any scales or anything. And now this is a this is a, a first for Benchmade, much like the if you're familiar with the Lion Steel SR22, same deal going on with the uh, with the handle there and secondly the ease of disassembly because normally that is just not the case with integral knives they're usually i mean it's, they're usually a pain to uh, maintain not the anthem and lastly the thinness of this handle very very impressive 0 0.43 inches thick so just to go ahead i want to put that into perspective for you. So the Ganzo Firebird FH13 is going to be 0 0.40 inches thick. The, let's see, the Benchmade Bug Out is also 0 0.40. The ZT 0450, 0 0.40 inches thick. The 940 would actually be considered a chunky monster next to the Anthem, because this one, 0.44 inches thick on the handle. Starting with the, with the blade, just a, just a gorgeous flat ground drop point with a CPM 20 CV steel, fantastic material. Stone wash finish too, by the way, very nice stone wash finish. And notice, this is something that I just realized. Notice how similar the the anthem's blade shape is to the sebenza 21. they also both have the crowned spine on the blade as well now the action here the action and i i i really mean this it is this is one of the best that i have ever ever handled and i have handled quite a few knives and now part of that has to do with that it is a uh, ball bearing pivot on the inside. Now, if you notice these ambidextrous thumb studs, they are not very tall. You would really, they're short, have a very short uh, profile. And there's also plenty of room between the thumb studs and the, uh, and the handle to get your thumb in there pretty easily for deployment. And did you see that? I mean, it's really effortless. Look at that, beautiful. Since this does feature the Benchmade Axis Lock, guess what? Yeah, you can uh, you can shake that open pretty easy. Now remember what I said though that this is not your your standard 
axis lock that we all know and love. There's there's no Omega Springs, which is good because as we all know, if anything's going to break out of Benchmade, it's it's usually that. And I want to show you the inside here with a light. You guys see that? Hopefully. So yeah, there's actually the way that this works is that there is a rod and wrapped around that rod is a spring. So you can see if I go ahead and pull back on the lock bar, do you see that? How that spring kind of is compressed. Genius, just a genius design. Now I brought you in really close just so I could kind of show you the centering, which Man, that is just about perfect. Thank goodness, though, too, because there's really not much adjusting uh, that you can do other than the pivot screw. So, yeah, almost perfectly centered. This one-piece titanium handle is very, very comfortable. I mean very comfortable. at, And it measures in at about uh, a little over four and a half inches long, Four point. Five, six to be exact. No sharp edges anywhere. And so it looks like, and it feels like, everything is either chamfered or rounded, you know, as it should be. Now, this, if you look at this, uh, the, the milled uh, design, I feel that it provides decent enough traction. It's not great, but I wouldn't even call it anything remotely close to terrible either uh, it's just it's okay it's it's adequate because you notice notice what is not here anywhere yeah for some reason there's no jimping none on the the spine I mean if you consider this stuff jimping which I do not um, okay but yeah none to uh, none to speak of now the pocket clip is going to be just uh, tip up only, but it is for righties. And yes, sir, they did give us some lefty love. And as long as we're talking about this clip, what what is with Benchmade and this clip shape? I mean, I know it's not this is not the split arrow clip, but it has it's very similar in shape. I mean, do they do they like that people call this? this shape the penis clip i mean they must because they keep using it technically this is not a deep carry clip but you know what i think yeah i think that that is uh it's deep enough i mean it still gives you just a little bit to kind of pinch to get that out of your pocket now because of this the one piece handle design it is going to be closed construction of course and if we take a look on the inside, yeah, there's no like relief milling going on. Actually, there's really no room to because these are pretty thin. The sides are pretty thin, but let's see how that affects the weight. 3.7 ounces, wow, very good. That's gonna be the equivalent of one, two, three, four. It looks like four AA batteries or, oh, look at that, almost the same exact weight as the PM2. Now, before we get to my potential deal breakers, I do have a question for you. And all I would like to know is just simply, what is your all-time favorite Benchmade knife? And just go ahead and let me know down in the uh, comment section below. Potential deal breaker number one is going to be, even though I do like how thin the handle is, I realize for some that, you know, the 0 0.43 inches that might be a little on the thin side for those of you with like larger hands next one is going to be regarding well the the jimping that we had already talked about just a little bit but i gosh i just wish there was a little bit here up on the uh on that crowned blade spine that would really help lastly is now this i really i can't call this a potential deal breaker it's, it's more of a nitpick than every anything but the clip screws 
I, they really just look out of place on this, you know, relatively clean, sterile design. But then you've got these these three screws that are all crowded. I, yeah, I just it, I think they look out of place. Again, a nitpick, not really a deal breaker. So now, where does that where does that leave us here with the uh, Benchmade Anthem? Well, I'll tell you what. It leaves us with one great knife, but it's gonna cost you, unfortunately. And people with larger hands might find the handle kind of small, but I have to say this, this thing, it really does. It feels like an expensive knife in hand. I mean, not like the I don't know, it feels more expensive in hand to me than the Sebenza 21, which, by the way, I have recently reviewed. So if at the end of this video, yeah, you see that icon up there in the corner? If you click on that, you'll be able to watch my, uh, my full review of this. I mean, the blade steel, the CPM 20 CV, the, the incredible action, the one piece titanium design, I personally feel are all well worth the $430 price tag. And yes, I get it. It's it's a lot of money, but you are you're also getting a lot in return with the Anthem. Hey, thanks for watching and remember, go ahead, click on that subscribe button if you need knife reviews that get right to the point. Thanks. I'll see you at the next video.